Hello, I'm Adoris Vitak, and I, as some of you YouTubers may already know, I'm the author of, uh, I'm an 11-year-old published author, and at the age of 7, I published this book, Flying Fingers. And I'm here with a guest appearance from my awesome sister, who, by the way, is not goth. <laughs> and today we're going to be doing some vocabulary, new words, and review. So, firstly, the lesson. An oubliette is a dungeon one can only enter or exit through a trap door in the ceiling. So basically imagine this, you're on a ground level floor, there's a hole, only it has like bars on it, and then there are people under there. And that is pretty cool. Okay, so now moving on. Okay, next word, acquire. To obtain, to come by, to get hold of. Hastening. Adrian, what does hastening mean? It means, like, quickly, rapidly. Quickly, to get hurry. Somewhere, somewhere. Very good. Encounter means to yes. meet or come across something or someone, either unexpectedly or with aggression sometimes. A dilemma is a problem. A situation in which someone is forced to choose between or find a solution. Let's see. Louts. This is a good insult. Thugs or hoodlums. Adriana, don't be hanging around with louts. I don't. You don't? No, I don't. Oh, okay. That comes as a surprise. Eerily. Do any people in your school behave eerily? Excuse me? Do any people in your school behave eerily? No. Oh, really? Eerily means creepy or in an unnerving manner. I know some of those kids. Oh, exactly. So, Drana, this one I expect you to know. What does the intentions mean? Intentions. It's like something you want to do, like, you know. It's my intentions. Aims, objectives. Go. Oh, I hope not. You. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Don't take a homicidal attitude, Drana. That is very disturbing. And please do not lose my awesome sister. Okay, um, trellis is a wooden structure used to train a plant to grow a certain way. You know those sort of weird curvy looking trees or other plants that might have be on a sort of square thing? That's trellis. Emerged. The dark shadowy figure emerged out of the rock wall. Emerge means to come out. Mock. Fake or pretend. To mock someone is to mimic someone or to make them appear silly or ridiculous. Impassively. Um, what is impassively? Any guesses? It means like, like you're not thinking. Mm. Um, you're kind of close, but impassive actually means without any display of emotion. Barbaric. Barbaric means like a caveman or something. <laughs> Barbaric, uncivilized. So I'm thinking partially right or cruel. Drab. Drab is like your room is drab. No, it's not. It's a bright pink. Oh, cool, okay. Um, dull, plain, dull, yeah. dull and colored. Flounder. The unfortunate... Isn't it a kind of fish? Well, yeah, that too. The flounder <laughs> is a fish. But in this context, let's say in the sentence, the drowning boy floundered about in the water. Yeah. Until he's finally rescued. I have to put a happy ending on. Flounder. To move with serious difficulty, almost sinking. Sinister. You look very sinister with all your black makeup. I know. What does that mean? Sinister is like, uh, scary. Threatening, evil seeming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Dignity. I try to carry myself with a certain amount of dignity. Well, what does dignity mean? It's like, Earthly. dignified is like, royal and uh, Dignity, poise, self-respect. And finally, wrath. And this is an archaic literary version of a word. So what does Roth mean? Roth? I have no idea. W-R-O-T-H. That's okay, actually. If anyone here doesn't know what Roth means, maybe you've heard the word Roth. And Roth is an archaic or literary form of that word. So basically means really, really, really outraged, mad, furious. I am much Roth with you. Uh. And I will have some sinister consequences. Thanks for watching, everyone. And now for those sinister consequences. <laughs>